Names are interesting when it comes to scientific nomenclature and binomials. There are way more than one T-Rex, and I don't mean species of Tyrannosaurus. On top of that, there are plenty of other Rexes out there. B-Rex, C-Rex, etc. I should really do a list video about them. That would be cool. Anyway, one of the most egregious copycatters was named in 2001 from the hardened, sticky deposits of trees in the Dominican Republic. Meet Tyrannosaurus Rex. For the past 30 years, many fossil animals, especially insects, have been described from amber from the Dominican Republic. The fossilized amber from this region usually always comes from the extinct tree Hymenia protera, a type of leguminous tree that once grew in an extensive range stretching from southern Mexico down to the Proto Greater Antilles, across northern South America, and onto the African continent. The amber, and by extension, the trees, and rock layers from which it comes are about 40 to 25 million years old-ish. The mining of this amber is preferable to the unethical stuff going on in Myanmar, but it is still quite dangerous and conditions are unsafe for workers. I doubt they have a union, and I doubt they are not exploited. Just not quite as bad as Myanmar amber. Plus that whole situation is ultra complex, so enough about that. This type of amber, being from the Oligocene to the Miocene, will have absolutely no presence of any non-avian dinosaurs, nor any Mesozoic fauna. However, specimens have been found that have preserved the remains of now extinct groups of weird creepy crawlies, though most of them are from known groups and therefore aren't particularly shiny to those who don't care for creepy crawlies. All sorts of insects and arachnids have been found. Spiders, ants, gnats, ticks, lice, wasps, bees, mantids, tardigrades, and beetles. However, in all this time, essentially no beetles from the Scarabaeoidea superfamily have ever been recorded. Or at least, that was until the early 2000s. In 2001, a paper was published in the journal The Coleopterist's Bulletin by Brett Ratcliffe and Federico Ocampo, then from the University of Nebraska State Museum, that described the remains of one of these hard-shelled beetles preserved for all time in Miocene amber that was deposited in the amber fossil collection of the Department of Entomology at the American Museum of Natural History. The specimen, AMNH DR10702, contained more than enough details of the exoskeleton to tell this beetle apart from all other known beetles from the region, and the team decided to name it, with tongue firmly planted in cheek, Tyrannosaurus rex. They seemed to exhibit some restraint with the genus name by stating that they named it that for Tyrannus, being Latin for tyrant, and Saurus, which is Latin for hump or pile, and which is also the suffix used in the genus Hybosaurus and its eponymous family name, Hybosauridae, to which this new beetle belongs. Their reasoning for the name was because the little idiot stumbled helplessly into amber and died. The species name speaks for itself and the authors thought as such too. This is easily the best T-Rex pun out there though, due to the similar sounding genus name on top of it just being T-Rex. The genus, Tyrannosaurus, is unique among other hybosaurid beetles from the West Indies due to its 9 segmented antennae, whereas all other genera have 10 segmented antennae. These little guys were about 6 millimeters in length, with some being as wide as almost 3 millimeters. Itty bitty beetles stained a reddish coffee brown. The team surmised that the holotype specimen is a female based on the appearance of the four tibia and tarsal claws that are the same for females in the genus Apollonicus, a genus of Hybosaurid that also occurs in the West Indies. And that's about it really. These weren't particularly unique or well-decorated showy beetles. They were probably easy prey for larger spiders and wasps and kept to the detritus like most tiny beetles do. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.
Special thanks to Elephant Tier patrons Abby Smith, Arda Bayer, Biotiverse, Cherry Shaw, Chris Frampton, Christoph Hubbinger, Dinosaur, Ed Peretz, Isaiah Garza, Jax the Hacks, Natty Cat, PA Brew News, Ray, Rudy Redgrave, Smiling Walrus, Staniforth Hopkins, Steve Bradshaw, Thea Svensson, and Extraterrestrial. As well as my top as tier Tyrannosaurus patrons, Admin, Antron, Aphid Kirby, Cyber, Dana Manchester, Danny Van Heck, Henry Brennan, Iberospinus, Iron Bladesman, Joshua Mana, Panic, Radio 404, Robert Kessler, Ruben Zachariah, Swaffles is Weird, Teeny Dragator, and The Dogman.